Welcome Girl Scouts. We'll get started here in just a few minutes. Thanks for joining us. I hope you are all excited. We're gonna get our craft supplies out. We're gonna make a swap. We're gonna meet some awesome people here at council and also highlight some really cool things that are going on. So um, go ahead and check your volume and your screens and get all situated. If you brought popcorn, now is the time to go ahead and bring that out and we will join you on screen here in just a moment. Hello, Girl Scouts. This is Jess Sackle here with our Summer Celebration Facebook Live, and we are super excited to have you with us here tonight. If you are joining us with some popcorn, go ahead and share what flavor you have in the chat. We would love to hear all the different flavors that you have, or even if it's traditional butter, go ahead and share that with us because we have some very cool things going on tonight that have to do with popcorn. How many of you like to watch movies? Movies. Well, we tonight are going to showcase two Girl Scout Western Pennsylvania um, troops that made their very own films, and we are going to premiere them for the first time tonight here on Facebook ever. So you get a chance to see these for the first time. I'm going to share my screen real quick and give you some fun movie posters, just like they would have in Hollywood if they had these films. So I'm going to cut over to my screen one more time to share this, and we will show off our filmmakers um, review posters. One of our films tonight is called Food Races and the critics give it rave reviews, all five stars, many creative and um, funny commentary there. So we can't wait for you to see that here tonight. And then I'm going to show you one other of our film and we'll show these posters again in a bit later so you can see them more but our next one is Uncle Fred. So enjoy your popcorn get ready for these awesome movie premieres that will be coming up here just shortly. And part of our theme tonight is to kick off our summer celebration and to really, really sink into the idea of making new friends. So hopefully tonight you're going to make some new friends on screen. Our craft is going to help you make more new friends by having a swap to share that will go with our movie and popcorn theme. And you'll meet some of our awesome um, filmmakers here and when you see their movies. So hopefully that'll give you many, many cool things to go out and try and do throughout your summer. All right. I am going to get ready here to showcase some of our um, friends that we have on screen with us tonight. Um, but first, let's make sure we have all our supplies for our craft. If you would like to join us with that tonight, we are doing a, um, a popcorn swap. So you are going to want to have some post-its or small pieces of paper. You can also cut your own small pieces if you like with a pair of scissors, some safety pins, um, a, you might want a clothespin, that's optional, a cotton ball or some quilt batting, something fluffy that you can make into your popcorn, and some markers and tape. Now I picked some yellow and red markers because that is um, a traditional um, popcorn container color, but you can have any colors that you want. All right, so let's go ahead and say hi to some of our um, our friends that are here on screen with me tonight. Um, Christine, how are you doing tonight? I'm muted. That's how I'm doing tonight. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> yep, I'm good. I'm excited to be here. I am just, I'm so excited for these movies. Uh, it's been so much fun to 
get little sneak peeks of them. And Absolutely. I'm excited for everyone else to share them. I rewatched them again this morning because I was so excited about it. Yay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Let's see. Who else can we say hi to real quick here before we move into our videos? Um, Amber, are you on screen with us tonight? Here I am. Hi, hi Amber. Amber. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Um, are you excited for our movie premiere tonight? So excited for the movie premiere. So are, much creativity. Awesome job. Are you excited to um, be interviewed a little bit later so our Girl Scouts can Ooh. learn a little bit about you? That's going to be fun. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. awesome. All right. Who else do I have? I have Jess Lee on screen with me here tonight. Jess, can you pop on and say hi real quick before we jump over to our film? Hi, Girl Scouts. So grateful you're joining us tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Um, are you looking forward to our films tonight? Of course I am ready to awesome. see the movies uh, made right here in Western Pennsylvania. Yes, how cool is that made right by our very own Girl Scouts? Super excited for that. Well, thank you for joining us. Um, if any of my Girl Scout cohorts here on screen see any great commentary in our chat, please by all means, you know, um, respond to it, jump on here, you know, comment, you know, comment with our girls, all that sort of thing. We love that side of banter. And I don't have visual of our chat right now on Facebook. So I will lean on you all for a little bit for that one. The first film that we are going to jump in here to tonight is um, Uncle Fred. So let me pull up that screen here real quick. And I'm going to share my screen so that we all have an awesome view. Uncle Fred was one of our first submissions in our Girl Scout um, Western PA Film Fest. It's about five minutes long and it showcases some faces you might know from around here in council. And they have the magical, mysterious mystery of Uncle Fred. And I would love for you to all follow along, enjoy your popcorn and see if you can figure out the mystery of what they're figuring out. And then when we all come back, we're gonna chat for a little bit about all the things that we liked about this film. All right, sharing my screen now, making sure I have the sound on. Here we go. Hi, I'm Jess. Hi, I'm Justin. Hi, I'm Julia. Hi, I'm Whitney. And, and that's Gracie. determination, smarts, and humor. I'm hiding with my treasure in my personal jungle in my backyard. 40 acres of untouched overgrown light. Ew! <laughs> I'm I not the best at yard work. Oopsies. Well, well, and I have left home with my favorite pet rats. I home, no, Frederick. Wait, you said there's a fortune? Wait, a fortune? Let's go. Like money? I thought it was poor. Oh, yeah, say it's everything to make sure you're there. Here's something. A clue. Here. <gasps> what? Honor! Ew! What? Wait, was that money? Wait. Maybe the fortune is money. Yeah. According to my calculations, it's all fake. What? What? It's fake money. No, no. I want to find the fortune. Okay, let's go. All right, then. Come on. Go, dude. I guess I'll give you a feedback, guys. <laughs> so there's this thing about fortune. Maybe it's money. Like a lot. Nice, nice. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Look in the shula to find the moolah. The only shoes in there are the slippers. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought we already checked. Ooh, look, look at this. this one so special. Where I keep my snacks cool, you will find the next clue slash roll. Oh, this. 
Look at the shoe I have to find the mula. I wonder what that color is. Next clue slash rules. Oh, so we should go to the last clue in case someone tries to follow us. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Wait, guys. Oh, someone's on our table. Um, got this mountain poo. Let's get out of here. According to my calculations, we should. I got it. Three heroes in the door. Why not? Let's go. Let's go. Calculations. If you press this button here, it'll give you any cookie you want for eternity. Yeah. And they all ate cookies happily ever after for eternity. I am so thrilled with our Girl Scouts. I don't know about the rest of my crew here, but. I think that was just so much fun. Anybody have any thoughts they'd like to weigh in here on our brand new film um, by our local filmmakers? Go ahead, Amber. You were muted first. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say that I loved the characters in in that one, um, how each person had a specific role, and I love the music that went with it. So cool. Absolutely. I love that too. I also loved how creative the story was, and I love the idea of the end being uh, cookies that you can eat for eternity. How awesome is that? I would love cookies to eat for eternity. Too. Right? <laughs> I like that cookie time. All right. I also just wanted to say to how proud I am of all these Girl Scouts that participated in the film festival. Yes. That was so much work that everybody put into their films, no matter what length of film it is. There's so much creativity and so much that had to go into the planning and the execution of all of it. And I'm just really excited that um, some of you wanted to participate in this with us this first time ever, and I'm just really happy with all the um, things that came out of it. I couldn't agree more. Absolutely. All right. Well, I have our second film up. This is called Food Races. If everybody is ready, we are going to check out our second film fest um, submission of the night. Let me just pull up my screen here real quick. Chickens! Ready, set, go! Let's 
Shield off to a great start here. Even though Shield 1 had a slow start, he's going ahead. As I say, good things come in small packages. Wow, what a lead from Shield 1. I think he's growing. I think you're right. What an outstanding performance from both Shield 1 and Shield 2. They both did extremely well, considering the fact that most people give up. I agree, but farewell. This is the end of the race at Town Square. See you guys next time. And we're back with the food races at Town Square. Even though the track was renovated, we still have some of the same contestants, but there are a few new ones. I'm excited to see if these new seals are made out of. Shakers! Ready! Set. Go! And we're off to another great start. I'm a little concerned about the outcome because pretzels are harder to digest than candy. What in the world? CL3 has more crumbs than what he ate. Oh, I hope it's not the stomach bug. Can't wait to see the results. Me too. CL1, winner! CL2, winner! CL3, disqualified due to too many crumbs. CL4, quit due to upset stomach. So proud of our um, filmmakers. That was stop motion. That was not something that we were sure if we were going to get people who were going to um, give that a try. That takes a whole bunch extra work, a different type of work than filming. And so um, we wanted to be able to show you that. I just thought it was so creative the way that they did the confetti at the end and how they had all the different um, the seals and how they grew. So is there anyone else here on screen with us tonight that would like to share a little bit about what they thought about food races? I also, I love stop motion. Stop motion is one of my favorite things. So I was so happy to see a group of girls take on stop motion. And like you said, I loved the confetti. The first time I saw the confetti, I had such a big smile because I loved that creative, uh, the way that they, you know, stop motion is really tricky because for those of you who don't know, it's it's a million single photos that you put all together into one. So every time something moved, that's a brand new photo. So to do confetti would have been really difficult. So I love their creative work around in order to make confetti and be able to pull that off is pretty cool. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, according to my list here, I think we have two extra girl program specialists who are able to join us tonight. They might not be on video, but we might have them in sound. So I wanna check in real quick and see if they're with us, in fact. Andy, are you here tonight? Can you hear me and chime in? I am, and Andy, I- I'm so glad. <laughs> I loved both the movies. I think a huge, huge shout out to all of the girls who worked on these. They did such an amazing job and they were so much fun to watch. And I really hope that next year we see even more videos from these same crews. Absolutely. And we do hope to do this again next year. So I'm glad that you mentioned that, Andy. Um, if you're interested in this sort of thing, Girl Scouts, um, or those who aren't Girl Scouts yet, but would like to join us and be Girl Scouts, keep watch. We may be able to do this again in the future. So we are going to think about how that might look at what that, that when that might happen for us. Um, th Andy, thank you so much for sharing what you thought about the films. And I'm sorry that we don't have you on video tonight, but I'm so glad that we can hear you and you can join us. All right, my other friend here, Kim, can you hear us? Can you chime in? Can you hear me? We can, Kim, Yay. welcome. <laughs> wow, I give both these films, both two enthusiastic, very enthusiastic thumbs up. What cool, great jobs these girls did. Absolutely. I swear if I could review films like that all the time, that would have to be my job. Like that would be more fun than I could even think about. So Kim, I'm glad you could join us tonight. Um, Kim is one of our other teammates and Andy is as well that we are gonna interview a little bit later. So um, thank you for, for jumping on and joining us. All right, I'm gonna give some, I'm gonna give a little bit of a heads up about our craft tonight and then all of our team here is going to share a little bit about um, if they have any favorite activities coming up, they can pop on and let us know that. But first, let's get started on our swap. So you're yes. going to need, I like post-its for this. I have post-its or small pieces of paper. You, oh, I dropped it. You're going to need a safety pin, something cotton-like, some markers. I like red and yellow for this, and some tape. 
and the, and you might want a clothes pin or a binder clip because the first thing I want you to do is I want you to take your cotton ball and I'm, I like to use the clothes pin to keep a hold of it. And if you've got a yellow marker, I want you to start coloring some awesome butter marks on your popcorn. All right, does not have to be all filled in, but I just want you to start coloring your popcorn to look white and yellow. And if you have other, mother, other marker colors, then you can use those too. Maybe your popcorn is flavored with cheddar and you have orange. Maybe your popcorn is flavored with caramel and it's brown. Maybe your popcorn is flavored with blue raspberry and it's blue who knows whatever markers you have will be great but you want to start coloring your popcorn with your markers and it's light but you'll see it and on your swap it'll look really really cool do any of my girl program team here have any favorite upcoming things going on this summer at girl scouts that they would like to chat about for a moment I have some exciting things that are coming Yay. up and I also wanted to highlight too in the Facebook comments we have some really awesome feedback from the movies as well. We had um, some comments saying great jobs they loved it and someone else was saying it was great the growing seal was funny. And so I think that there was really great feedback for those Girl Scouts who Absolutely. created those movies. There are some good comments in there. So. Thank you for sharing that, Christine. Awesome. Of course. Um, in terms of exciting things going on in council this summer, uh, there is a Think Like a Citizen Scientist program that I'm working on right now. And that's with Winnie Palmer Nature Reserve down in Latrobe. And we are going to be taking big nets and going through fields and seeing what we can collect along the way and scooping up water from ponds. And the goal is to work with the scientists from St. Vincent College and try to catalog as many different species as possible during our event as the Think Like a Citizen Scientist journey. And that's open to all ages. And I'm so excited about that. And um, Awesome. Thank you. Very fun. Um, some of the other things, and that would be a great place. Like we talked about, we're going to make new friends. And at these programs, it's a great time to make new friends. You will have some swaps here in a few minutes that you can share with them. Um, some of the other really cool things that we have going on, we have the GSUSA Get Outdoors Challenge that is now on National's um, webpage. Uh, that will give you all sorts of amazing ideas how to get outside, some ways to make new friends, team up with your troop or with other friends, get outside, enjoy the good weather, get your body moving, get out in nature, and you can earn a patch for that. And of course, on our Girl Scout Western PA activity page, we always have all sorts of things listed, both for you to do on your own at home, but also things that you can come out and join us at council where you'll see some of our friendly faces and you'll see lots of other girls and troops that you can make friends with over the summer. Do Katie any of, also, sorry, <laughs> Katie also said in the comments that the Girl Scout horses arrive next week. Yay, that's so exciting. Like you mentioned. If you are not familiar, our Girl Scout Council has a camp called Camp Sky Meadow, and we have lots of different programs at lots of different camps, but Sky Meadow has horses, which is so much fun. We have lots of different camp sessions that happen, and you can come out and join us and ride some horses, learn a little bit about caring for the horses, and do all those other amazing things that happen in camp, like um, campfires and s'mores and sleeping out in tents and things like that. So if you haven't checked out camp yet, and that's something that's a good fit for your family this summer, uh, check out our activities page to see what you might join us at Camp Sky Meadow, Camp Conchataba, Camp um, Hawthorne Ridge, any of those all sorts of fun, cool things that we have going on. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and give you your next step on your swap craft. Who is ready? All right, so we have some colored popcorn, right? We're going to set that colored popcorn to the side and we're going to make a container for it. All right. Now I like post-its because the sticky part is going to help our popcorn stay in place. So what I would like you to do is fold your paper so that the sticky part is on the outside. This is where my sticky is. All right. So I'm going to fold this in half, but your sticky is still there. All right. And then I'm going to loop it around into a circle this time. So your sticky is on the inside. All right. And the tape that you have, you're going to want to tape that close. All right. So what I've made is a little cylinder out of our post-it note. And the sticky portion is just at the top, right up in here. 
All right. I'll give you a few seconds to make one or a couple of those. Do any of our other girl program team have any cool things about this summer that they are excited about and would like to share? Um, girl Scouts love state parks will be the weekend of September 10th and 11th. So keep on the lookout. Um, if you can join any of our events, or if you would like to just join and visit um, any of your state parks that weekend, you can um, get any fun, the fun patch. Absolutely, Jeff. Thank you so much for sharing that. State parks, first of all, Pennsylvania has amazing state parks. So I definitely encourage you to get out there, check them out, try a new one out that you haven't been to. At state parks, if you haven't visited them, some of them you can do everything from hiking to swimming to picnicking to camping overnight. There are so many awesome things. And I know our team really likes the state parks and have visited a lot of them. Amber's given us the thumbs up. I know that's one of her favorite things to go out and do and really enjoy nature. I am so thankful to my team here who is sharing all their exciting things that are going on. I am so excited for all of you who are um, joining us tonight. So I would love to hear from you. What are your exciting things going on this summer? Tell us in the chat what you're most excited about. Where are you excited to go make new friends? Are you headed to camp? Are you headed to the community pool this summer? Will you be hanging out at your local playground? Will you and your troop be doing some fun activities? Tell us in the comments what you'll be doing and what fun summer activities you have planned. You never know, you might make some new friends and you might inspire some of our other viewers to try the activities that you're trying. So go ahead and share those in the comments for us. And then I'm going to show us our next step of our swap. All right, so we have our popcorn container with our sticky just on the inside. And we have our cotton ball popcorn with our flavoring on it. And we're going to use that sticky note to our advantage. We're going to stuff our cotton ball down inside with some of the tufts sticking up. So that is our popcorn container. All right. And like I said, that sticky helps it stick and you can get it tucked down in there however you like it. All right. And then you get to decorate the popcorn container. All right. So um, if any of our team here who is on video is making these, you're welcome to pop on and show us yours as you make them. I'm going to draw a couple of lines on mine and write popcorn. If you are able to in the chat, you are welcome to share photos of yours at home. All right, and then in a few minutes here, we'll get our safety pins on and we will show you the completed version of our popcorn swap to celebrate our awesome filmmakers and to give us one more creative way to make friends this summer. So, all right, now we've chatted a little bit about what's going on this summer. We've showcased our really awesome um, filmmakers. We're talking about making some new friends. And one of the ways that I want us to be able to make new friends is to know who we have here at council who might be doing some awesome activities. And so I get the pleasure tonight of interviewing our amazing team and also showing you a video here in a little bit of one of our team members who couldn't join us tonight. So don't let me close out tonight without um, previewing her video as well. Do I have any of my teammates who would like to go first to be interviewed? <laughs> I have a couple no, their head shaking. Andy, I'll go. Andy, I love it. Thank you so much. All right. So we're going to ask a couple of questions that they knew ahead of time and a couple of questions that they didn't. So Andy, first up, what is your favorite Girl Scout tradition? So my favorite Girl Scout tradition is actually our slogan of doing a good turn um, daily. I, I am a person who believes in paying it forward in life and think that when you put good karma out there in the world, good karma comes back to you. I love it. That is very Girl Scouts. And that does not surprise me at all coming from Miss Andy. I think that's awesome. <laughs> all right, Miss Andy, what is your favorite Girl Scout badge, award, or service project? Oh, I don't, I kind of like them all. I'm, I'm a very outdoorsy person. So any of the ones that have to do with the outdoors, in fact, one of the programs that I'm going to be doing this summer with, um, Boyce Park with Allegheny Parks at Boyce Park is, um, the eco badges. So we'll have like the, um, eco trekker and eco friend and 
So I'm really excited to be able to do those badges because they talk about the um, seven no trace left behind principles. Awesome. Awesome. Well, maybe some of our Girl Scouts who are on tonight will come out and join for that. that would I be hope so. All right, Miss Andy, what is your favorite campfire food? Um, I am a breakfast. I am, I am a campfire breakfast queen. I come prepared with everything to make huge, um, huge camping breakfasts. Awesome. I love breakfast. I think I would do very well at your camp outs. All right. What is your favorite place you've ever traveled? Favorite place I've ever traveled is a place in Maine called, um, Tumble Down Mountain and Sounds Tumble fun. Down, um, Mountain is, this really cool mountain in the central Maine. And at the top of the mountain, you, you go through this really, really tough hike to get to the top of it, but you are rewarded at the top of it because there is a pond on top of the mountain, which is Neat. super awesome and stocked with fish. That's awesome. All right, Miss Andy, now it's the rapid fire um, question. These are, would you rather? So don't overthink them, just answer as quickly as you can to see what you are most interested in. Would you rather explore outer space or explore the ocean? Or the ocean. Go camping or explore a city? Camping. Hike the Grand Canyon or whitewater rafting? Whitewater rafting. Build a robot or build a boat? Build a boat. Would you rather? Which we are building, actually. Awesome. <laughs> We're in the process of doing. <laughs> we learn so many things about our friends when we do these things. Um, would you rather be able to talk to animals or speak all languages? Talk to animals. Awesome. Andy, it is so nice to meet you here on our Facebook Live tonight. Thank you for sharing all that with us. I am going to move on to our next girl program specialist here. Hmm. Kim, Miss Kim, are you ready? I'm ready. Would you like to go next? Let's do it. All right. Favorite Girl Scout tradition. Oh, and I, I wish you could see right now. I have a whole ribbon full of swaps. Oh, <laughs> love swaps. They're the cutest things ever. I keep every time I get one, I keep it. And I love making them and coming, seeing all the really cool ideas girls come up with. Well, I am bummed that we don't have visual from you tonight, but I think that is a wonderful thing to share tonight because our Girl Scouts get the idea that they can start collecting their swaps, like the one they're making tonight. They can go out to meet other Girl Scouts and share them and swap them with each other and then come home and create a sash or a blanket or a backpack or however they'd like to display them because swaps are traditionally um, made with a safety pin so that you can attach them to things. Um, so super excited about you sharing that. Thank you so much. All right, Kim, what is your favorite Girl Scout badge, award, or service project? This was a tough one. Um, I, I really like all of the animal and nature ones and the tree promise, but I guess, right, I think my favorite badges change. <laughs> so right now, my favorite badge is eating for you because I think it is, nutrition is so important. So I love that badge. That is a great pick. I'm a big fan of that one too. All right, what's your favorite campfire food? Um, and this is gonna make everybody go, huh? I like vegan marshmallows. Interesting. <laughs> Do they toast up the same way? They're not quite as good as original, but they get really close. They're pretty close. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know because a campfire isn't quite a campfire without some sort of marshmallow, right? Right. Awesome. All right, Kim, what's your favorite place you've ever traveled? My favorite place, it's kind of two, is San Luis Obispo and Monterey Bay, California, because when we went and visited, we saw all kinds of humpback whales. So that was so neat. That's awesome. All right. Are you ready for your rapid fire? Would you rather questions? All right. I'm ready. Give All right. Would you rather explore outer space or the ocean? Ocean. Go camping or explore a city? Camping. Hike the Grand Canyon or whitewater raft it? Hike the Grand Canyon. Build a robot or build a boat? Build a boat. Be able to talk to animals or speak all languages? I would love to be Dr. Doolittle and talk. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> nice to meet you, Kim. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thanks for um, having me. 
friends in the chat, I hope you are hearing some of these questions, taking note of some of them. Maybe they're sparking some other ideas of your own. These are great things for you to have in your back pocket when you meet new friends. Maybe you go to camp, maybe you are at an event, maybe you bring a whole trip with you and already know a bunch of people, or maybe you don't know anyone at all. And you can start out with really simple, really easy questions like what's your favorite campfire food, just to get to know someone a little bit. So we hope you are thinking of these and enjoying them as we share them as well. All right, I'm going to show you my popcorn container and then I'm going to jump into some more interviews. So I have put some fun little stripes on my popcorn container and I have written popcorn down the side in case we didn't know what it was. And I have my yellow colored popcorn at the top because my favorite popcorn is butter. Although I am working on a recipe for salt and vinegar popcorn, which is probably going to be my next favorite. So this is the beginning of my, or the end of my swap. All I have to do is put my pin on it. All right, I have a few more interviewees coming up. Amber, are you ready to be interviewed? I am. Yes, yes, awesome. yes. Welcome, oh. Amber. It is so nice to see you. All right. Now, you, for all of you out here watching, you may not see Amber at all of the same types of activities that you would see some of us other girl program staff at. Amber, can you give us a quick blurb about you and how your, your job is a little bit different than what we do with traditional sure. program stuff? So I help cadet um juniors cadets and seniors and ambassadors with their highest award so that's the bronze award the silver award or the gold award awesome and amber is excellent at it she just pulled off some really wonderful events where we got to showcase so many amazing projects by our girl scouts we are super proud of them and super proud of amber so so glad you could join us tonight are you ready i'm ready all right what is your favorite girl scout tradition my favorite Girl Scout tradition is going to be a candlelight ceremony. If you have not participated in one, whether it was at camp or one of our highest award ceremonies, they're beautiful. Basically, you get a candle that, that is lit by a candle that was lit by a candle all the way back to Juliet Gordon Lowe. So much fun. I just think that is so exciting to think that that tradition has been the entire duration of Girl Scouts and there's this connection with it. And I'll tell you, having seen my first one this last weekend, it's such a warm and inspiring moment. And I'm so glad that you incorporated it into our Gold Award ceremony because it really just shouldn't be missed. All right, what is your favorite Girl Scout badge, award, or service project? This one's easy. It's going to be any three of the highest awards. <laughs> they are my favorite without a doubt, and you probably knew the answer to that, um, being able to see what these young girls and young Girl Scouts uh, are able to do and help their community, it's just so heartwarming. Um, being able to see their tradition or their, their journey through all of Girl Scouts and really come out and um, be able to make a difference in their community, their state, their, the whole country is amazing. Absolutely. And I, what I love most about what you do and about the awards is that it is such a platform for the goodness and the amazing creativity that is already in our Girl Scouts, the ideas that they come up with and they pursue. And it's just a platform for them to be able to go and do that and then be recognized for what they put out in their community. So I, I really love that. 100%. I agree with you. Yes. <laughs> what is your favorite campfire food? Mmm. So we generally do popcorn over the fire, over the campfire, which is so yummy. But my other one, it's going to be a toss up, is s'morios. So it's a traditional s'more, but instead of graham crackers, you use Oreos. Genius. So fun. I will be stealing. So delicious. Yeah, I will be stealing that for sure. And I might have to mix that with my favorite version of a s'more, which is we put a Reese's peanut butter cup in it. So if I'm gonna be really indulgent some night, I'll have a s'moreo with a Reese's peanut butter cup in it. That sounds delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try that out. Awesome. Sure. Girl Scouts, if you have favorite s'mores recipes or campfire recipes or meals, go ahead and put them in the chat. We would love to hear all about them. And you just might give somebody else some great ideas for their campfire this summer. All right, Amber, what's your favorite place you've ever traveled? Okay, so I'm going to give you a little bit of background on this one. I love being outdoors in the woods and all of that, but my absolute favorite place is the Luminescent Lagoons in Jamaica. 
Um, it is amazing. Basically what happens is there are these um, microscopic organisms in the water um, that reflect the light. And when you put your hand in the water, it looks like a mazillion diamonds. It is so amazing to see. There's only four places in the world where this happens. Oh my goodness, that's spectacular. <laughs> I think that probably gives us a, a little hint to one of your answers coming up in Would You Rather. Mm. But are you ready for the speed round? I am. Let's All go. Right. Would you rather explore outer space or explore the ocean? Actually, it would be outer space. I'm a star, moon, sun person. And that's what the luminescent lagoons reminded me of with a zillion little stars. That's very cool. So actually, if we had an option where you could explore outer space and the ocean, you would probably pick both of those, wouldn't you? Yes. <laughs> All right. Would you rather go camping or explore a city? Go camping. Hike the Grand Canyon or whitewater raft it? Hike it. Build a robot or build a boat? I think a robot would be fun. Nice. Be able to talk to animals or speak all languages? I think it would be fun to speak all languages. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, Amber. It was awesome to meet you tonight. Um, we have some more interviews coming up. So next, I am going to invite up Jess Schley, if she is ready for us. I'm ready. Welcome, welcome. It's so great to have you on tonight. All right. What is your favorite Girl Scout tradition? Favorite Girl Scout tradition would be World Thinking Day. <sighs> Such a good pick. And that is, correct me if I'm wrong, but that is our most popular, most attended, most, most hosted Girl Scout event that happens all year, every year. Is that correct? Correct. correct. Absolutely. And it happens all over the place. So World Thinking Day is such an amazing um, way for us to think about other cultures and learn about all the various different people and things that come together to uh, not only create Girl Scouts, but to create our world. Um, yep. It helps us highlight WAGS, which is our international um, connection with Girl Scouts, the World um, Association of Girl Guides, which is all of us and is all over. Um, so that's a great one. I really love that one too. What is your favorite Girl Scout badge, award, or service project? I have two. Couldn't decide. Yep. So it wanted to be the gold award because I'm a gold award Girl Scout, which is the highest award in Girl Scouting and takes a lot of effort to do, but very um, prestigious. And, and my second one is all the My Girl, my Girl Scout Ways badges. For Absolutely. Each one. Yes. Um, and it's so neat. We have a couple of gold award Girl Scouts on our team. So that's super exciting. Um, Josh Lee is one. Brittany Brown, who you'll see our video later on, is also a gold award Girl Scout. Um, and so it is, it's a really prestigious, amazing thing. And it's one of my favorite things, but I bet it's that much more special to those who have earned it because it really is an amazing feat um, to be able to come out and be so, so proud of. Absolutely. Um, all right, Jessica, what's your favorite campfire food? A s'more. <laughs> was that just too easy? Yes, that was too easy. Love it. Love it. All right. So I have, to, it. I have to ask, do you like cinnamon? better or honey for your graham crackers? Mm, I prefer honey. All right, good to know. But if I only have the option of cinnamon, you're going to eat still, them. I'll still eat it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> what is your favorite place you have ever traveled? The Black Forest in Germany. Ooh, I have yeah. never heard of it. Sounds yes. very mysterious. And very, very dark. Awesome. Even in the middle of the day. I feel like we are going to have a lot of Girl Scouts real quick Googling <laughs> forest in Germany, which yeah. I'll be doing right after this. I'm super excited. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for your speed round? I'm ready. All right. Would you rather explore outer space or the ocean? The ocean. Go camping or explore a city? Camping. Hike the Grand Canyon or whitewater raft it? Well, I've already hiked the Grand Canyon, so whitewater rafting. All right. Build a robot or build a boat? Robot. Okay. Be able to talk to animals or speak all languages. Speak all languages. <laughs> awesome. I realized in the beginning here, I didn't give a chance for you to introduce yourself a little bit to the girls. Um, Cause again, your job is a little bit different than hosting programs. So why don't you take a moment and tell us about you? 
Oh, okay. So yeah, that's okay. Just um, quickly. I'm, <laughs> I'm the director of girl programs. So all of these ladies that you're meeting today, um, I get to work with on a daily basis and see what they're doing. And um, just also, um, you know, make sure that we are providing great programs for all you Girl Scouts. Absolutely. We are thrilled to have Jess as our as our leader and she um, helps us do so many cool, amazing things. And I was so glad that she could join us here tonight so that you can all meet Jess as well, even virtually. All right, Miss Christine, are you ready? You betcha. Awesome. So Christine has the unique pleasure of also being able to interview me. So Christine gets to pick right now. Would you like to interview me next or would you like to go next? Oh, I would love to interview you. All right. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Uh, Miss Jess, what is your favorite Girl Scout tradition? Hands down, make new friends. Mm -hmm. um, I love, like sometimes I get very nervous around people, but once I get to know them, I really, really love being surrounded by my friends, new and old, getting to go out adventuring. And um, I can definitely enjoy my solo time, but I really love being surrounded by a group of people that I know and trust and love and can feel safe trying new things with. So definitely make new friends. By the way, speaking of making new friends, I would love it if anybody who's listening in on Facebook answered these questions in the chat log as well. During Absolutely. Because I would love to know what your favorite traditions are and all of these things too. I think that would be very cool. Great idea, Christine. Thank you. Um, the next question is favorite Girl Scout badge award or service project? Oh, it's got to be the tree promise. Um, I'm so excited for that one. Um, we are working hard as Girl Scouts to plant as many trees as we possibly can. And that can be as little, if you have one tree that you plant, that is a huge impact. If your troop gets to plant a whole bunch of trees, that is a huge impact. And many of us know, and if not, we will learn that trees have such a huge importance in our world, helping our air be clean, helping our soil stay clean, helping with erosion, all of these different things. And for me to be able to go outside and see all of the different places that we can put trees back where they aren't growing anymore, where we can establish um, new trees, where we can enjoy them, whether they're fruit trees or flowering trees or they're big, tall shade trees. That is absolutely my favorite project right now. Um, I got to plant a couple last summer when we kicked this off and I'm going to hope to um, or not summer spring I'm going to hope to plant a couple more um, this fall um, planting seasons are different in every area we are such a widespread council so check those out if you are going to join in and help with our national tree promise um, see where it is best in your location to plant trees um, you can check here with us with Girl Scouts. We can give you some resources. Um, you can also find a local arborist or nursery, and they would be able to give you some tips about how to plant trees, how to take care of them, because that's the next step is to make sure that we're good stewards, that we plant them and make sure that they're taken care of and that they can grow up and do all the amazing things that they are meant to do. So that's my favorite. I love that. Um, the next question is your favorite campfire food. Oh, this one is so hard, but I have to say mountain pies. I really, really, really love the cast iron press that we get to put um, some bread and all sorts of goodies into and then let it get super, super hot and crunchy on the outside. It's like the best version of um, grilled cheese. And I like to put pizza, so pizza ingredients in mine. Ooh, and what is your favorite place you've ever traveled? Oh my goodness, um, Costa Rica. I was very lucky to be able to see the rainforest in Costa Rica. Um, we were within just feet of poison dart frogs and howler monkeys and caimans and all sorts of amazing lizards and all of that sort of stuff. And it was really, really a beautiful place. And the people were so welcoming. Um, it was just really, really great to be able to experience that. Cool. That sounds so much fun. I would love to go there. Now for your rapid fire quick right. questions. Would you rather explore outer space or the ocean? The ocean. Go camping or explore a city? Explore a city. Hike the Grand Canyon or whitewater raft? Whitewater raft it. Build a boat or a robot? A boat. And talk to animals or speak all languages? This is a hard one, but I have to go with speak all languages. I want to travel more and I would love to be able to do that. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Of course. Thank your you. interview skills are, are top notch. Awesome. Thank you. And now it's your turn. I'm going to flip the script on you. Great. All right. What is this is Christine, one of our team members. What is your favorite Girl Scout tradition? 
Um, I don't know if it totally counts, but I really love trying new things. Oh, I think I, it totally counts. <laughs> I, I love anything that is new, uh, new ways to get home, new hobbies, new crafts. I love trying anything at least twice. I love it. That's great. What is your favorite badge, award, or service project? I personally love lots of things. Uh, a couple of the stranger ones that I love is I love the trailblazing award or badge trailblazing pin is what it is technically and what that is is um it's kind of just the ultimate high adventure pin that you can get for doing a overnight backpacking trip or something like that i also have recently really come to love the safety award mm -hmm. which is basically the super edition of safety preparedness and first aid all together as well as the global action award is super cool too Lots absolutely of awards great choices and what is your favorite campfire food I invented a thing with a friend called nacho dip, which Ooh. essentially is a pan and you put everything you put on top of nachos like beans and peppers, tomatoes, salsa, cheese, whatever. You put it in there and then you just dip chips into it. So yes, I will absolutely be making <laughs> delicious. Great choice. Um, and that wouldn't surprise me at all. Like you said, you invented it. I, I would imagine that our Girl Scouts are probably often inventing really cool campfire foods. And I certainly hope that if they are, they will share it with us when they see us around council, because I would love to hear recipes for the campfire all day, every day. I agree. All right. So what is your favorite place you've ever traveled? <sighs> Hardest question. I, um, <laughs> I love everywhere in eastern europe i'm a huge 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 fan of eastern europe um of that bosnia would be kind of my sweet spot and behind me is from bosnia i absolutely love it there i also really love patagonia which is the southernmost tip of south america and it's chile and argentina and i've had the pleasure of taking girl scouts there a few times and That's fantastic. On my own, and it is so wild and so rugged, and all the trees are sideways because it's so windy there. And they <laughs> warn you when you open your car doors to be careful which way the wind's blowing because the dark doors will rip off. Because oh my it's gosh, and wild there, <laughs> and it's so cool. That's awesome. One more thing that I think that Girl Scouts after this are probably going to be doing some Googling, maybe. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Here's your rapid fire questions. Okay. All right. By now, they're not surprises, but I will do them fast. And so try not to think about them too much. Would you rather explore outer space or the ocean? Outer space. Go camping or explore a city? Camping. Hike the Grand Canyon or whitewater rafting? Whitewater rafting. <laughs> I can say it. Build a robot or build a boat? Boat be able to talk to animals or speak all languages. All languages. I've tried so many of them and they're all so difficult. Right, so right. I would yes. love to know them naturally. Kudos to all of our um, friends and watchers out there, our Girl Scouts who are working on learning multiple languages. Um, it is absolutely a feat and an undertaking, but it is such a wonderful thing to be able to, to have in your back pocket when you go when you go traveling and when you meet new people. Um, so I certainly hope everybody will give that a shot at some point. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you our last team interview. It's a video because she wasn't able to join us tonight. And then I'm going to come back real quick and be able to close out our night for everybody. So I'm going to share my screen one more time. And we're going to see Miss Brittany's interview. All right. All right, everybody, we have another Girl Program Specialist to highlight and introduce you tonight. This is Brittany Brown, and Hello. we are going to, oh, sorry, hi. <laughs> we are going to give her a chance to share some of her favorite things with us. Brittany, what is your favorite Girl Scout tradition? My favorite Girl Scout tradition are bridging ceremonies. Um, a lot of girls are bridging right now, and I love seeing the things that they have done over the year and things that they're looking forward to for next year. Awesome. Excellent choice. All right. What is your favorite Girl Scout badge, award, or service project? So my favorite badge is definitely the Girl Scout Waves badge for all age levels because I love that it teaches girls the traditions and the history of Girl Scouts. And it's a badge that connects daisies through ambassadors so they can all work together on it. Nice. All right. 
Here's a fun one. What's your favorite campfire food? A s'more. I really like them when I have a whole like chocolate bar and I do chocolate on both graham crackers and then a marshmallow in the middle. So nice. extra chocolatey s'mores. What do you, do you ever change up your s'mores? Do you ever add anything to them? Sometimes I will, but I just, I like the traditional. I just All like right. the extra chocolate. Um, nice. I don't really like them with the cookies and cream Hershey bars, but oh. I really like them with just the plain old milk chocolate or dark chocolate. That makes sense. All right, one more s'mores question, because this is such a big Girl Scout thing. Okay. So, honey graham crackers or cinnamon graham crackers? I'm really not picky. I'll take either. Awesome. Um, kind of whatever's at the campfire or whatever I grab off the shelf if I'm making them at home. Nice. All right, favorite place you've ever traveled? So my favorite place I've ever traveled with Girl Scouts would have to be the convention in 2014 and the Girl Scout Leadership Institute in Salt Lake City. Um, I went out with a group of high school Girl Scouts um, and we just went to the convention and the Leadership Institute all week. There were thousands of Girl Scouts there and it was amazing. And my favorite place I've traveled um, personally is to the Bahamas because I absolutely love the beach and the water was so clear and beautiful. Awesome. Love it. All right. So next up we have rapid fire. Would you rather questions? You don't get to think about these. You just have to spit out your answers as best you can. Are you ready? Okay. All right. I'm ready. Would you rather explore outer space or the ocean? The ocean. Would you rather go camping or explore a city? Camping. Would you rather hike the Grand Canyon or whitewater raft it? Uh, we're going to go with whitewater raft because I don't really like to hike. <laughs> Would you like to build a robot or build a boat? Build a boat. I tried building a robot. Didn't go well. <laughs> and last one. Would you rather be able to talk to animals or speak all foreign languages? All foreign languages because I could travel so many more places. Awesome. I love it. Thank you so much, Brittany. I'm glad that you could join us here even via video tonight. and. Um, <laughs> All of us Girl Scouts out here, keep an eye out for Brittany across council if you come out and join us, and we will all see you later. Thanks, Brittany. See ya. Well, that is just about our summer celebration for tonight. I want to thank you all for joining us and coming out. I hope you had an awesome time making your popcorn swaps and discovering some, maybe some new popcorn flavorings. Um, being able to check out our amazing filmmakers right here in um, our Council of Girl Scouts Western PA. So big round of applause to all of our filmmakers. Thank you so much for putting out your creativity and all of your ideas into those amazing films. I hope you are super, super proud because we all think you should be. And I hope that um, you keep up with that creativity. Maybe that inspires some of our viewers tonight to make their own videos, live action or stop motion. I hope you're all inspired to go out and make new friends all summer long, whether it's outdoors, whether it's exploring a new city, whether it's joining us and seeing some of our smiling faces at our events. I really hope that you can go out and make the best of this summer ever. Um, fun things going on all around. If any of my team here would like to say anything before we scoot, I would be happy to give them the floor. I was just going to remind everyone to take a look at the link that's in the comments for the Girl Scouts Love Outdoors Challenge. So many awesome and fun things that you can participate in. Um, and you can even earn a badge when you're all done. Absolutely, thank you, Amber, yes. I wanna thank my team here for joining us tonight. You all have been so amazing to work with and I am so excited to be able to introduce you all to Facebook land and our, our council um, and Girl Scouts out there. and viewers who are not Girl Scouts yet, maybe. I am just so excited that you joined us tonight. Thank you for coming out and sharing with us and mentioning things in the comments and jumping in. I hope you have an amazing summer and we will all see you later. Bye.